Welcome everyone, Gramps Races here. How about that new intro audio? If you know the car, comment down below. But we're going to be playing on Silverstone today. It's going to be a grid start. We're going to get Ghost Touch right away. Oh no, our opponent in the McLaren skips right ahead of us, as well as the two Alfa Romeo AIs. Uh, starting this race off, not the best. That's kind of unfortunate. I notice it happens sometimes on my iPad. I don't know if it's the game or my iPad, but I get Ghost Touch off the line pretty rarely but this is one of the times where it actually happened but and we got it recorded so all right so we passed one of the ais we now have one more and then we have our opponent once again they're in the mclaren and they actually have a little bit more top end than we do but with the red bull car we have a little bit more lightweight points so we're gonna have that kind of that out of the hole speed basically getting out of the corner speed but and the straightaways, it's not going to help us out too much. We actually let Raikkonen go. That was kind of a dumb move on my part. I should have blocked a little bit hard. I didn't realize how quick the car was coming up. And unfortunately, he doesn't pass our opponent either. So, we're coming up to these high-flowing S's here. We have to take them as well as we can since our opponent has the top-end speed. We need to close this gap, and that's what we do. We're now right on the gearbox of the McLaren. And you think, like, okay, well, we can do the move up. There's no slipstreaming, really, in this game, which is kind of weird. But our opponent has the top end. We're going to let the AI go and try to get in front of us because I want the AI to get in front and slow our opponent down. That's exactly what happens. We now have the run on the McLaren. We're going to go for the move here. Down on the inside. He makes contact. And we get spun out. And unfortunately, all that hard work is, is done. Um, I don't know. I had the inside line. I thought there was space, but it was maybe just a racing incident. I was kind of in the middle of the track uh, on the exit part, so I don't know. I think um, we'll just call that a racing incident, but a really exciting race nevertheless. And so we're now going to be skipping to Monza, and our opponent here, instead of going around the AIs to the right, is just going to kind of push them aside and then completely overshoot his braking zone while we pass three of the AIs and go ahead. And as a result of that, we are now going to be ahead of our opponent by over 1.5 seconds. And you might be like, Gramps, why are you posting this race if you're already two seconds ahead of your opponent? This is a snooze fest, man. Come on. I'm disliking the video now. Well, we're going to go try to get past this AI around the outside. And we dip one, one little tire off into the dirt. And in this game, if you dip one tire off into the dirt or gravel... You will instantly have the strongest brakes you will ever, ever know. And we do that again, and look how much mile per hour we lost. Our opponent is now has the run on us with the top end speed and with our bad exit on the chicane. We're going to go defensive into the Ascari chicane. We can't let them pass. We make contact. We get ghosted. Now we're side by side. Now we're ghosted once again. I don't even know what's going on, but we come out of the Scari Chicane with the lead and with the run. So now we're building that gap up to 0 0.7, 0 0.8, and we only have one more, one more turn here. We can't mess it up, but we almost, we almost do. <laughs> I can't believe that. Like my voice just went up like two octaves, but we were so close to putting another tire off into the gravel or the grass, and that would have completely messed up our race and that would have just made us lose right there but it, it's a little unrealistic how you lose so much speed when you just put one tire off in the grass is i think it could be reworked a little bit but now to our final race this has and i'm not exaggerating this i'm not clickbaiting at all this has the best move i've ever done in this game so you can see our opponent is in the mercedes they pull away instantly they are gone and so with the AI system, it kind of takes both of the cars into account. And with that AI being so quickly, all the AIs are really fast as well. So we have that to deal with. So we're going to try to get around the Alfa Romeo. We actually get the run because our opponent was slow behind the AIs. And as you can see, they just pull away. And Latifi is actually going to get ahead of us too. But here we go around the outside. I kind of missed my breaking point, but ended up breaking late anyway. And we're going to get ahead of our opponent how do you like that let's go ahead and rewatch this so look at that around the outside all the way to the right side we're both side by side and we use the ferrari as a pick because we have the inside line and that ends up working out to just utter perfection and here we are in the high flowing s's our opponent actually gets the run on us as we mess up the first set but our second set still not that good but our opponent actually had a bad 
bad set of turns right there, and we actually bring that gap to over a second. But yeah, that overtake was insane. That was like a triple or quadruple overtake. I don't even know. We passed our opponent and like two AIs all within like two corners. It was absolutely nuts. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment if you guys thought there could have been something better. And subscribe, like, all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, folks.